The steady trail of Australian big men making their mark on the EuroLeague this century has a new member who needed just one game to start turning heads. Brock Motum celebrated his 25th birthday and his EuroLeague debut by putting down a game-winning dunk for Chalgiris Kaunas in the season's opening week. As an instant hero in basketball-mad Lithuania, Motum now understands better what David Anderson and Nathan Jawai, two of his predecessors from Down Under, told him about the EuroLeague. Yeah, well, they've had great success over here, so... Uh, when I was on the national team these last couple summers, I've been talking with Dave and Nate just to get a little bit of insight about what it is in the different clubs, and I think I've been able to learn a little bit from them, but the best way to learn is through doing it yourself, so I'm excited to play this year and learn for myself. As the first Aussie big man in Europe and the first player from his country to win a EuroLeague title, Anderson has been Motum's go-to guy for advice on his own EuroLeague adventure. A lot of the national team, we go against each other and we hang out, so we have similar positions and he's had a very successful career over here in Europe, so I think uh, any knowledge I could get from him was good. Anderson's status as a three-time champion and a player ranked among EuroLeague's top 12 this century in points, rebounds and performance rating make it no surprise to hear Motum say that his advice has been particularly beneficial. He's been in many top teams, so he just gave me, I guess, insights to different practices, uh, different types of coaches, different styles of players. So it wasn't anything specific, it was just a broad knowledge of the game. With their advice in mind, it didn't take Motum long to get comfortable in Kaunas, where he has enjoyed getting first-hand experience of his new city's famous passion for basketball, as well as the first-class facilities offered by Chalgiris. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, it takes me about five minutes to get to and from practice. Uh, all the facilities are in this one building, so it's amazing. Uh, the people have been really nice. They're very passionate about basketball, so engaging with them around the city has been good. Like Anderson and other former EuroLeague big men, such as Jawai and Matt Nielsen, Motum spent two of his formative years in the world-renowned Australian Institute of Sport. He believes his intense focus on basketball at the famed Sports Academy in Canberra played a major role in his development. For my year, it was in preparation for the World Championships, so they brought in the top 14, 12 or 14 guys in our age group, and we just lived together practice together basically 24 hours a day for two years. Yeah, it was great, it was great for me because we had a lot of the other guys my age were really strong but they were all living down there so when I went down there it was against those guys every day and when you're against high quality people you always bring yourself up. Being in that environment there's no distractions, uh, a lot of your friends back home at that age get into parties and things like that but if you're there and you only focus on sport with a whole bunch of other like-minded people it helps you focus a lot more. Among those like-minded people was another EuroLeague rookie this season, Ryan Brokoff of Lokomotiv Kuban Krasnodar. As luck would have it, the friends and former teammates at the Institute of Sport would meet up, going against each other in the second round of the EuroLeague regular season. Although Brokoff and Lokomotiv got the best of Jalgiris this time, Motum is delighted to see his former school and teammate playing in the EuroLeague with him. Yeah, we went to the Institute together. Uh, we spent two years there, we played on the national team and then sort of kept in touch while we were in the States for college. And then this last summer, played on the national team again together. So yeah, um, it's great for him to make his debut and fortunate for me to make it at the same time. So looking forward to playing against him.